So DC is rebooting again, I think, or I don't, hmm. I don't think it's supposed to be a reboot, more of a relaunch of their title, sort of like what they did with Infinite Tier last year, where some of their books got new number ones and some continued on, but earlier today or yesterday, depends on when I get this uploaded, most likely uh, Saturday, <laughs> uh, DC released this image showing what I'm assuming is their roadmap of their upcoming titles for, I believe... I believe they're splitting up into two phases. They have phase one, which is I think the first six months, and then the later and then latter half, which will mostly be the summer, is next. So, um, I'll go over the titles and the creative teams, and I'll give my thoughts. Um, technically speaking, they're saying this this new uh, or the dawn of the DCQ starts with Action Comics thousand fifty one. But it is mostly new number ones. Right. Uh, I'm getting this from the DC website, so that's why the order might be weird. Starting in February, Superman by Joshua Williamson with art by Jamal Campbell. Moving into March is Adventures of Superman John Kent by Tom Taylor with art by Clayton Henry. Unstoppable Doom Patrol written by Dennis Culver with art by Chris Burnham. In April is Superboy, The Man of Tomorrow. Uh, written by Kenny Porter with art by Jino Lindsay. Green Lantern, Hal Jordan, written by Mariko Tamaki. Uh, doesn't have an artist yet. They have also announced Green Lantern, John Stewart, which which is being written by Philip Kennedy Johnson. No artist. Uh, Green Arrow, written by Joshua Williamson with art by Sean Zaki? Exact? Uh, I'll throw up the name. <laughs> uh, Into May is Batman the Brave and the Bold, written and drawn by a whole bunch of people. I'll throw up their names, or written and drawn by a whole bunch of people, I'll throw up their names on screen. Shazam by Mark Wynn and Dan Mora. Cyborg is getting a new ongoing. Penguin's getting a series by Tom King and Stefano Gaudiano. Uh, a new steelbook called Steelworks, and that's it, finally. God, that's a lot. Plus, the already ongoing series like Batman, Detective, Action, you get the gist. Uh, I'll start with the ones we're kind of excited for. Shazam! World's Finals is honestly kind of a surprise to me. Uh, I had been hearing a lot of bad things about Mark Wade's most, a lot of his recent work, so... Liking World's Finals as much as I have, it's it was just kind of a big shock to me. Green Arrow and Superman. Josh Wilmson has quickly been turning into one of my favorite writers. This Flash run from what I've read of it is great so far. Uh, I liked bits and pieces of his Batman stuff. Uh, he wasn't on it for very long, so that's I can't say a lot. Um, I didn't read, I haven't read his full run on Batman Superman. When you get that, um, and I haven't read all of his Justice League stuff. I think he did Justice League. I think he did a short stint on that. Ben just took over, and then he came back. So, um, the John Stewart book. Because Phil Kennedy is writing it and Superman stuff is great. But I've heard of his action stuff, I've loved. The Brave and the Bold series could be interesting, but it's just another Batman book. I don't know why the Penguin needs a series, ongoing or mini. So Cyborg could be interesting, but I don't remember his re rebirth run being, inter being any interesting. I am curious to see how all this does. Steelworks could be good. Uh, I'm guessing that's going to be like a six issue mini. So, yeah, uh, the Hal Jordan book could be good, but I really haven't read anything from Mariko Tamaki's detective run, or anything else she's written. Uh, I'm not reading Adventures of Superman, or at least until the trade comes out. I've only read the four issues of John Kent, but I've heard that's kind of when the series, I think it's like issue five is kind of when it turns into very preachy. I think, again, I don't know. Um, the, the books have been announced could be interesting. I, I don't know why there isn't a new Justice League ongoing announced yet. Uh, probably coming out in Wave 2. Um, they have also said that it's going to be new, or it's going to be 20 titles. Now, I don't know if that's counting the already ongoing books, or 20 new ongoings. Or 20 new books, because not already ongoing. If it's 20... 
If it's 20 new, Jesus Christ, that is way, way too many books. <laughs> Even if some of them are minis. Because again, some of these are going to be $5. <laughs> and the Brave and the Bold, because it's going to be an anthology book, is going to be a lot more. It's just, it's too many. Uh, my guess for the second wave will have Teen Titans and Justice League. Just because those are the two ones that are missing. Knowing DC, they're going to do another Batman mini or ongoing. For some strange reason, you only need Batman and Detective. Just saying realistically. I hope they give Red Hood a new ongoing, because Red Hood. Uh, moving on to more of my thoughts. Uh, I don't think Green Lantern needs two solo books. I think the way you should do it is give John and is give John the ongoing, like the solo ongoing, and Hal should be the one that's, you know, because I think John should be the more new reader friendly one. That's the I don't know too much about Green Lantern, so I'll pick up the John book as you know that's the solo book, <laughs> that's his adventures, and Hal be the one that explores more of the Lantern's mythology and the team book that introduces. You know, it has all the lanterns that have ever existed. So, eh, I, I just think that's how it should be. Um, bit of a shame that Barry isn't getting an ongoing. I like Wally. I like him quite a bit. But Barry's always been my favorite. I've always preferred Barry over Wally. <laughs> um, do you need two Flash ongoings? No. But I think they should. Because again, I think that... I think for people that are already well-versed in the Flash's mythology should have a story that explores you know, more of that stuff. I think like Barry could be that. So. But who knows? Barry's been the, been the title Flash for around 10 years, so I guess it's time for Wally to <laughs> take his place as Flash again. Uh, but I mean, it's not like you can't differentiate the two titles. Just call one either Fastest Man Alive or Wally or Barry Flash. You did it with Robin, because they did Robin, canceled it, and then rebooted it with Tim Drake Robin. So, I think I'll end it there. Let me know if any of these titles pique your interest, but that's it. Oh, and because I'm an idiot, uh, I forgot to mention. <laughs> Um, I think, judging by the little poster, or not poster, uh, artwork they revealed, it seems like Brainiac will be playing a huge role in this, which should be kind of cool. Uh, from my understanding, Brainiac hasn't exactly had a lot to do. I, don't, I think... I think No Justice was the last time Brainiac really was in anything. So, I think having Brainiac as the main villain would be, would be pretty cool. But yeah, that's it.